Welcome everyone uh, to this uh, quick presentation of Print Shop Mail Design. My name is Zach and uh, today I'll be showing you how to quickly create an uh, easy uh, numbering effect in Print Shop, Print Shop Mail Design in order to show you what numbering is also counter or m mostly used by printers. So let me bring you now to the interface of Print Shop Mail Design. So this is where I'll be building my uh, special effect. So here, on this document, which is in fact a ticket document, it's been a little PDF pictures, I'll be placing my uh, numbering effect. So first step I will, will be to uh, open a variable text box. So here in my toolbar, I just have, have to select it and to open here, a text box. In this text box, the second step will be to uh, insert variable markers. Okay, these markers are represented by symbol add because by default, this is how they are have been set up in the software. Between these two markers, I'll be inserting a value. So do, that will be my 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 counter. Okay, so I'm gonna enter one here right away. Okay, and then I just click outside the box. The number seems to have uh, vanished. I just have to right click and now to uh, select my expression editor. And then it makes appear my expression editor window that we have here. So what is the expression editor window? It's in fact quick, a quickly uh, kind of library uh, with the functions ready to, ready to use. Now I'll be using a function called counter that I have here. And then from this window here, I'll be um, building my uh, my counter. So first, my first field is asking me for a starting value. In the field starting value, I'll be entering the value that I've put uh, that I've uh, put just between my two markers. In the second field, and notice, eh? Every time I'm changing the field, I have to have a kind of explanation of what I'm doing. The second field is called end value. So once more, my counter is going to is going to end. Okay, why not? The step size, the incrementation, rising by one, two, whatever I need. Okay, I'm going to put out one. The number of position, asking me how many numbers I want in my in my counter. Okay, here I'm going to put six. Anyone understand why? In my last field, it's asking me for leading zeros. If I want a zero in front or a zero on the back. If it was the case, a zero in front, I will put the function true. If it was not the case, I will put the function false. But here, because I've put six number of position, I'm going to put the function true. Clicking OK. And as you can see, my function has been created. I will have just to click OK. And now, as you can We'll see if my number numbering effect has been created. And I can see it's the case. Excellent. And I can play and write and make it bigger, why not? Okay. And of course I can easily copy paste this numbering effect and to place it on any location on my document. This was this was how to create a number numbering effect in print shop mail design. So if you have any question about print shop mail design, any type of effect you would like me to create, just feel free to get in touch with me. It will be a pleasure for me to uh, to get back to you. Thank you. Have a nice day.